Hi everyone, I have a very popular repo with Cypress examples. It includes examples for Cypress commands like, uh, let's say, traversal, all live, all tested in Markdown and JavaScript. It includes recipes, which are kind of larger examples that show particular situations. And I upgrade the version of Cypress very automatically. Notice this is version 8.0. 7, but there is a version for the previous versions of Cypress, so I keep documentation rolling. You can see the latest version of Cypress using this badge, Cypress 8.7. Now, there is Cypress 9, so why hasn't this uh, uh, website been upgraded automatically? I'm using Renovate app, so it should have happened. I can look at my pull request and I can see that Renovate bot has opened a pull request to upgrade to Cypress version 9. Usually, these kind of updates are very successful. Look, the update from 8 to 9 has been out for 5 days and adoption is about 12% of all repos Renovate is aware of and it's almost 90% successful rate by default. Now, there are a few, you know, breaking changes. Um, and I can see that something failed, right? Some of the tests have failed, but I don't have any additional information. So if I want to know which particular thing is broken in V9, I have to go and look at, I don't know, maybe GitHub action, right? So I can see that this job is broken and I can scroll down and I can see that, uh, before selector is broken in pseudo selectors. I'm expected 9 to equal greeting. It's very hard to understand the problem. Well, I can see that I have Cypress dashboard set up with this project. So I can go to the pull requests recorded on Cypress dashboard. Notice this is done by Renovate bot. It's the right branch. It has the link to the GitHub action. It ran five days ago. I can see all the results and I can see two failing tests. Now, it really is the same test, because what happens, I have all those examples in Markdown using Cypress Fiddle. I first run all the tests using Markdown files, then I export Markdown into JavaScript, and just to make sure that all the tests work together, I concatenate all the JavaScript specs into one large spec, which is equivalent to running all specs together. So you can see the JavaScript specs group under the Markdown spec group. These are the same tests plus the concatenation of all tests together. So you can see that if the test has failed here, it will fail in the concatenated spec file as well. So really, I have one failed test. I can click on the test and click on its name, and now I can go right away to the failing line. I can look at a screenshot. I can watch the video, all the nice things. In this video, I want to just talk about something else. Why? isn't this pull request that failed more useful to me? Why doesn't tell me exactly, hey, this is the failing test, right? I know exactly what has happened, where it fails, right? Why isn't this information available right here? Well, because this project records test results to Cypress dashboard. But if I want to see the Cypress test results like right here in the pull request, I have to enable GitHub integration on Cypress dashboard for this particular repository. So let's do this. So in Cypress examples, I'll go to the project settings, uh, all my nice things, uh, GitHub, well, there's GitLab, there's Bitbucket, I'm not interested in those, right? But let's say Cypress examples. Okay, so they're not there. So I install GitHub integration app on my GitHub, right? But I only pick certain repositories to have access to that. So I have to go to GitHub. I need to go to my settings, applications, find Cypress and click configure. Open one password, confirm. Okay. So notice for Cypress app, I only enable for select repositories. So if I want to enable it for Cypress examples, I have to find it right here save perfect now i'll go to cypress examples again and i have a lot of examples so that's why it's a little bit of a long list 
GitHub integration. Now I can find it and notice uh, Cypress dashboard always says, hey, the name matches. So you probably mean this repository. Status checks, one check per group. I'll probably will keep it for now. It's fine. I will know if markdown tests have failed or JavaScript exports have failed. Status checks, PR comments enable. Okay, this looks reasonable. Okay, so now we can go back to our uh, Cypress examples, right? And uh, let's see, if you want to rebase retry this PR, click this checkbox. Okay, so I will click it and I will have to wait a little bit for renovate bot to notice that it has to redo this pull request. So I will keep quiet and I will just observe. All right, I see that GitHub Actions have started on this pull request, right? Because Renovate bot force pushed again to this PR, right? Trying version Cypress 9 against code. So now we just have to wait for the uh, installation and Cypress is still running. And then we should see additional status checks from Cypress. And we we'll should see results from Cypress as well, right in this PR. All right. A minute has passed and I can see the installation has finished and I can see the CI status checks from GitHub Actions. Okay, nothing else. And because we're doing both the push and the pull CI builds, that's why there are two things for each one. We're running these things on four machines each. So I can see the CI. Oh, I, I'm actually, <laughs> I clicked the checkbox twice, that's why. But this is what we're testing. JavaScript and Markdown spec formats. And let's look at our dashboard. I can see the commit and the pull requests are right here. Okay, back to the pull request. Okay, now notice extra status checks, right? Now these are sent by Cypress dashboard, okay? And because it's a pull request and a push commit, we see Markdown and see Markdown merge. JavaScript specs. So we have one status check per group. If we click on the link, we go immediately to that uh, Cypress run recording to that group. So Markdown hasn't finished yet, but JavaScript specs already started. Okay, let's just wait until these specs finish. By the way, you see three specs error. It's not a real error. It means there were no tests in that particular file. Perfect, so markdown group has finished, went through all the 49 markdown files. Let's go back to our pull request. Okay, we can see that the group markdown passed in two minutes, excellent. And the other groups are still finishing up. Okay, so we can see our test has failed, right? Let's uh, wait for the JavaScript specs to finish. Almost done, I think we're just waiting for this long spec, which is accumulation of all the specs, the Cypress dashboard waits for any more machines to start any more testing groups or join the existing group and to make sure that we give every machine a chance to join the group or to start a new testing group. We have a threshold, how long to wait. You can change it in Cypress dashboard project settings. So let's just wait until the entire run has been officially marked closed. All right, the run is officially closed. Let's go back and notice now we have a comment on the pull request from Cypress application. It says, so many tests have passed, but two have failed. We know it's the same test, but in two different specs. We can see how long it took, the browser we used, and now we have a screenshot. And if we click on the screenshot, we immediately go to that failing test. Now, because we triggered the test from two different uh, workflows, that's why we have two comments here. So this is how you add Cypress GitHub integration to your project.